Interface Mapping Toolkit, Part 5, Generate a WPF Client and Access the Service Interface. In this video, we demonstrate the configuration and generation of a WPF client that we can use to access the Make Check Appointment service that's now deployed and available on the ESSOAP Enterprise Server instance. Before generation, we need to specify what type of client we want to generate. By default, a console client is automatically generated, but we want to generate a WPF client as well. From Visual Studio, click Tools, Options. Expand Microfocus, then click Service Interfaces. Check WPF Application, then click OK. Now to generate the client, from the Solution Explorer, right-click the Make Check Appointment Service Interface, then select Generate Clients from the Context menu. We can watch the generation process in the Output window. Notice all of the files that are generated for the WPF client and application. Back on the Solution Explorer, we can see that two projects have been added to the Solution Explorer. These are the Make Check Appointment Client App project, which is the console client generated automatically, and the Make Check Appointment WPF app, which is the WPF client we specified to be generated. We want the WPF client project to be our startup project when we run the client. Right-click the Make Check Appointment WPF app client project, then select Set as Startup Project from the context menu. Before we can access the service, the ES SOAP Enterprise Server instance must be in the started state. Since we didn't stop ES SOAP after starting it in the last demonstration, it should still be running, but let's check to be sure. As we can see by the green icon, ES SOAP is started, so now we're completely ready to run our new WPF client. From the main menu, click Debug. Start without debugging. This starts our WPF client. First, we'll make an appointment. Here we'll enter the variable information that the system requires to schedule an appointment. That includes the customer name, consultant ID, the year, month, and day of the desired appointment, and the desired appointment time slot. The customer name and consultant ID field values are checked against the data in our supplied data files, so we're using a customer name and consultant ID that are known to the system. We'll leave the link up OK field blank because, as you might recall, this is an output field. Click Submit. If the appointment is available, a Y is returned to the Link Up OK field. Otherwise, an N is returned. It looks like our appointment slot was available, and we can assume that the schedule application created an appointment in time slot 5. Just to be sure, let's check to see that the appointment was made. On our generated client, click the Check Appointment tab. As before, we'll leave the Link Up OK field blank. We'll also leave Link Cust ID blank. This is the output array that is returned to show whether or not our appointment has been made. And click Submit. If the appointment is in the system, a Y is returned to the Link Up OK field, and we can see by the returned array that there is a number 29 in the fifth time slot. 
If we were to have a look at the customer.dat file, we would find that the customer ID for Benton Riley is 29, so he's all set. Now we click Exit to close the client. This concludes the Interface Mapping Toolkit demonstration videos. <music>